you. Stop it. I'm shy. It's <laughs> more the... Uh, so that's the intro to this week's video. <laughs> <laughs> Urban Arc UK. Urban Arc Overland. I'm getting. I have cut it out now. We're fucked up. We're, we're, we're half a coffee in this morning and we had a few baby shams last night. <laughs> So, good morning. Bit of a random one this time. Just dropped my works van off at Dandy Landy's house. Uh, he's chucked me his keys, so I'm going to take one of his motors while he takes the other one. And it's going to be something a little different. I think he's trying to convert me. And it's, it's a nice sounding thing. It's a <laughs> to be fair, these things are nice. These things are proper for, uh, look at that for a view. For a six foot three, 20 stone bloke, this is comfortable. Um, the thing I'm looking forward to is the motorway cruising, just having that power at any speed to put my foot down and hit pull. So, let's get going. So for those that don't know what this is, it's a 4.2 Land Cruiser 80. It's uh, an ex-Paris Dakar race truck. He took all the roll cage out. When he got it, there was all tyres behind here, tyres on the roof. Um, there's race timers, trip timers, all that stuff. Um, sat navs gps's and that he's took a lot of it out he wants to retain the power the brakes the suspension and that kind of thing but have it as a livable overlander so he's he's picked the best of both if that makes sense so he's going to build it up from there he's one tens up for sale um he's selling it at the minute as a full package with every bit of camping gear he's got with it as like a full setup but he's he's only an hour and about just selling the vehicle itself so yeah he's um he knows how much he's got in it, he knows what work he's done to it, so he's not taking no money for it. Uh, unfortunately, the price bracket is in, it kind of puts it with all the bling bling ones. So, unless you know what you're looking at, a lot of people are just thinking, oh, it's an olive green Land Rover with a roll cage, it's not worth it. But, those that know, know. So, yes. Don't know what he's doing now, don't know what he's doing now. I like the way he's got to have knee pads on to drive a Land Rover. Start. <laughs> Have you broken down already? My phone, no, my phone's frozen. worst light in the world is coffee cups. It's cold cups. Just got one of these. And all his knives, his shiny bling bling survival tools. It's black. Black! It's black! <laughs> so it's gonna be a bit of a quiet one this weekend. Um, not doing a full weekend thing of the, the whole show and that. Uh, met up last night. We went for a walk around to have a look at some of the stands and we managed to get to the end of the row, turn left, we're at the beer stand everybody else met up there and we ended up over at the campsite till uh, 12 one o'clock in the morning so as you can imagine first coffee of the day sorting his lives out and uh, yeah we'll see what it brings <laughs> probably going to uh, film this in a bit more detail later on um, just because some really annoying person's got a generator running right at the back of our pitch or oh, <laughs> exactly i got sent this sent this out uh, 100 watt panel and Wow, it's uh, the other day on the bonnet of the Land Rover because the, the battery bank came half charged. Uh, and I put this on the bonnet of the Landy, that on the bonnet of the Landy too. You might have seen it on TikTok. And it was banging 78 watts in, which at 12 volt, that's over 5 amp, which is bloody impressive. The back of it, it's got a little Velcro out stand so you can prop it up. It's got a charge controller built into it so you can plug your phone directly into that without the power bank. And then you've got this here where. You've got all your, you've got your input here, 
you got your display telling what's going on so see input there's it's reading something but there's no wattage coming in because we're inside uh, we're at 98% battery um, you've got your AC outlet you've got your 5 volts and you've got your cigarette lighter out output I don't really call that one these days um, I've run all sorts off this so far I wasn't big into these because um, as you've known I've, I've made my own stuff on top but for the size and weight of that it's a fraction of the the ones I make myself and this is pure quality I'll show you that properly later and before I totally forget there's um, there'll be a discount code in the description below so make sure you check that um, while you're on your way down there hit the like button and give us a comment so what, we're, what we're doing now is we've put some eyelets in these sheepskins so these are Andy's sheepskin hugs and what basically it is is you know what it's like when you're out in the vehicle, out on the campsite, something like that, you're in your chair, your back's freezing, your front's nice and warm against the fire, but your back's freezing. So he gets these massive sheepskins, but what he does is he puts eyelets in the back of uh, the top of it, he's got a strap that goes onto it, it goes down your chair, hooks onto your chair, and he also does the bags that then hook over the chair as well, that you can keep it all in so it's not getting all matted up and tatty in the vehicle, which it's one of them things where you think it's a bit faddy and it's a bit bit Gucci but having a warm back at a campfire it uh, makes all the difference so just looking for the head end find the middle put the press stud on go on the uh, back of a chair now. So we've had everything on charge all day and we're at 100% <laughs> and it's putting in 70 watts. I've not even angled it or anything, just chucked it over that box. after a day on the stall it was uh, about time we packed up got everything locked away and went over to uh, Pete and his crew and as always they've got the fire going they've got the beers on the go and they've got the banter on the uh, on full swing and as always there's uh, they're always very welcoming and look after us At this point, I think everybody was just glad to be out, and everybody had had a skin full. Uh, everyone was having a good wobble, and uh, the, this next lad, oh, he had us in absolute stitches. He was absolutely hammered. All the lads he was working with found it hilarious and just let him crack on. Um, it was even to the point where after this bit, he, he came out for a few beers with us, and <laughs> it was just pure entertainment. Apparently, I'm being filmed now. Normally, I don't film myself when I'm this drunk, but <laughs> apparently, Joe needs to play amateur dramatics. <laughs> Corner's kitchen, uh, yeah, uh, we got the pasty warmers here. <laughs> um, this is our sign, it's really good. We got a maid from someone in San Osto. Oh, here we go. Right, so guys, we got we got hand washing station here. This has got boiled boar in it. These are called frying pans, they're pretty good. This is called a cunt. Oh, sorry, man. 
Yeah, noise. So yeah, the lad was a right laugh. He uh, he was having a cracking time. You probably had to be there to find it as funny as what we did. We was just hilarious that he was at work and uh, his mates were carrying him and he was just having a scream. So not too late to bed that night and uh, just had a quick walk round with Aid the next morning and uh, have a look at a few bits. thank you one to all the people that came and said hello um, and watched the videos it's, it, it's one of them things where it's a bit overwhelming because it's so many faces so many people um, and you lot pick up on stuff and take on board stuff that it just comes off the tongue or I don't remember it and it's, it's I don't know it's it's a difficult one because it's it's a lot of everything <laughs> I don't know it's hard to put into words but it's very humbling and um, thank you to all those people uh, that you know came over because I put a lot of time effort money everything into this and to know that there's that many people just on one kind of showground that watch it is it's bloody awesome isn't it so yeah thanks and thank you as well to the usual crew um, Essex Overland uh, all you lot that uh, welcome around the campfire and uh, hope the head's alright Joe <laughs> I'm sure everybody saw you wobbling outside the beer tent <laughs> um, yeah so thank you very much for that I know I've not done masses of filming this weekend um, just purely because I didn't get an invite or anything like that to, to the event early on to, to put to pencil it in to say that's you know what I'm doing so and, and the invited mate said uh, you know don't want to come help him on the stand and stuff so I put the effort into that so if you're wondering why I didn't spend three days traipsing around the off-road course or chasing around after getting footage or walking around stuff that that's the reason why I've pretty much had a weekend um, giving Andy a hand and just having a nice chilled one with my mates so yeah it's one of them so that's why um, maybe on another show or something like that if people want me to come and do the filming and stuff they'll give me a plenty of notice uh, in advance and and send a proper invite out and then I'll put it in my books for you know something to do with because it is it is work I mean for if I do this as a, a proper proper thing like you've seen on the other videos where I'll do the Instagram videos, the Instagram pictures, the tags, the, the sharing, all that lot on, on the run up to it, then not only that, you've also got um, taking time off work, you've got four hour down trip down, you've got three days of chasing around getting footage, you've got drive back up again, so you've got fuel, food, drink, all the rest of it, and then on top of that I'll spend the next probably four to six evenings editing doing thumbnails doing all the bits and pieces that go with it so yeah it's it, it's a lot of effort so unless I've already got that sorted ahead of time it, it doesn't go on the books so that's the reason why so just want to say big thanks once again to everybody that, that got involved this weekend and I will uh, see you on the next one stay safe <laughs>